Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We're in Hebrews chapter 8 verse 10, Acts chapter 3 verse 1, and Hebrews chapter 4 verse 7. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Lord Jesus, thank you for all you've done. Thank you for your many blessings, Jesus. Help us to do your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Hebrews chapter 8, verse 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my law into their minds and write them on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. All right, and so this, the Holy Spirit, I felt like, was just saying, you are his people, right? He's writing his his words on your heart. He's he's trying to make you his. And he, if you accept him as Lord, you're accepting this, right? And you're accepting this lordship. So it says, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my laws into their minds. So God is is causing us to remember verses and scriptures and and the leading of the spirit is in our hearts and in our minds. It says, and write them on their hearts. So as you're going about your daily life, he's leading and guiding you with his word, right? He's leading and guiding you and causing you to remember his word. It says, and I will be their God and they shall be my people. You belong to him. He he belongs to you. So you need to listen to that voice. You need to be led by that voice. And you need to let nothing else stand between you and his voice. Amen. All right, you guys. Acts chapter 3, verse um, 1. Now Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. All right. And so the ninth hour here is actually representing the end. Right. And God is calling us up to him. It's the end. And he wants us to be with him. He wants us to spend time with him in prayer. He wants us to come to him when he calls. Amen. And that's as as clear as it could be. We need to come to the Lord when he calls us, when he's drawing us near, um, go into prayer and you don't have to actually just be in a prayer closet, but when he calls you begin to pray, pray and allow him to speak to your heart and lead you in your heart and in your mind. Amen. All right. And the third verse that the Lord gave me was Hebrews chapter four, verse seven. Again, he appoints a certain day today saying through David so long afterwards, In the words already quoted today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. So God is calling us even through time and scriptures and his Holy Spirit. He's saying, when I do call you, don't harden your heart. Don't turn away from him. Don't don't find something else to do first. Always prioritize God first and and don't harden your heart. He's writing his words on your heart. He's leading you. He's guiding you. He's getting you into the right position. He's calling you to prayer. Let him lead you and guide you in your life. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for the fruitfulness of, of your spirit that is being birthed in us lord god help us to blossom help us to do your will in jesus name i pray amen all right you guys um if there's anybody out there who would like to receive jesus as their savior and lord go ahead and pray this prayer with me but more than anything believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth dear lord jesus i ask you to come into my heart i make you my lord and savior Jesus, I believe you died on the cross, and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.